and it's on EA Sports. Let's go. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Oni steps into the line of fire and blocks that. Let's fly from the point. Dismiss that chance. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Lakunov's won the draw. They'll look to set up. Oh, tried to go top. Cheddar and puts it too high. Well, Cheddar it was, James. Looks like he's trying to go over the goaltender's shoulders and just misses. Brand's got it across the line. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Answered the call there. Scores! And they tuck it into the back of the net. Hang on there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. Face-off coming up, and you can tell there's still a little frustration in their faces after that non-goal call. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Let's get the call. Conchar's off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. You can't get away with that. You have to constantly remind yourself to move your feet and get closer to the action. You wind up reaching, you take the feet out of your opponent, and you wind up with a tripping call. They'll have a lot of time to work with this five-on-three. With all this time on the five-on-three, yes, you can be more patient, but you don't want to get low to sleep on the outside. You have to move the coverage a little bit outside of the middle of the ice to be able to open up those lanes and execute. Can they capitalize here on this power play in the offensive zone? Well, the time is now, James. They have the power play, but they're up against a fatigued goaltender. They have to take advantage. Nice job tying up his opponent. Let's go! Drawn it up, James. I mean, you move the puck around the outside to disrupt the coverage. You open up the middle of the ice, and then you get a glorious shot chance, and you capitalize. Excellent work. The Panthers crowd has really come to life here early in this first period after that goal. Uh, anytime that you're sitting in the room before the game, you know, there's all that energy. Well, they've corralled it, and it has just exploded all at the same time with an absolutely electric start getting on the board early in the opening period. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Fires it on net. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Well, that's a great goal, and not just because of the tally, but because of the energy it's provided his team. I mean, you can certainly see that this group has a ton of respect for him and looks at him as an emotional leader. Still lots of time left in the period. The Panthers have all the momentum right now, leading by two. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Brands taking it from his own end. Bracco's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And let's see what the call is. That's the third call of the period, and it really looks like they weren't dialed in or ready to play in this game. And Preparation is key, otherwise things like this happen.
Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 one, one setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Bill Reeves hauled down. Penalty on the way. Here comes the call. Oh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing and you wind up in the box. A little more room out there with a little four on four. A few ways to play a four on four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent too. Power play has expired. Well, that power play needs to have more urgency. All perimeter movement. Someone has to pay the price and get to the most coveted spot on the ice. And that is right in front of the tender. Quick feed. To no, you can't do that or you're going to find your way marching over to the box. He needs to find a way to manage his emotions here because they're creeping into his game. That's a second penalty he's taken this period. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. The man is it been effective. And he takes the dish. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Continuing to push the pace of play in this game. They've been impressive in the offensive zone. They do have the lead, but they wanted the extra cushion there, but unfortunately went off the post tonight. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. Centering pass! They score! That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. Nizhny Novgorod's got to be feeling good after getting that one, Cheryl. Well, they're certainly feeling good about themselves now, James. The body language has changed. They're on their toes. The confidence is lifted. It's a much-needed offense to get them within one. That's center ice now. He grabs the puck. stages of this period. Russia's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. And that's off target as it hits a body. Back to the blue line. Left save made by Huska. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Rush has been playing in one direction all night, and that's towards the net. And they lead here late in the first. Well, that's one way to take possession with both centers tied up there in that scrum. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. Teams had a chance to recharge, and the official set to drop the puck here on period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Huska's it off the crossbar. The Panthers can't get frustrated here at their play. They, yes, they hit multiple posts, but they are in the lead, and they're continuing to get a number of shot opportunities and offensive chances to stick with, and eventually another one will go in. Rush has gained the line and into the zone. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. The Tornadoes move the puck in the defensive zone. Here's a chance! Wide of the net. And here comes the judgment from the official. 
up by one and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. Nizhny Novgorod's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. A power play then can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. Russia's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking on all cylinders thus far. And they'll start with possession. Pad save with ease. Well, that's a missed opportunity, James. An opportunity to get the equalizer on the power play. Now down by one at even strength. They're going to have to find a way to muster up some action. Because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck, just incredible save, James. Steps inside the line. A save chance! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. books all right friends go grab yourself some water get hydrated and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments <sighs> welcome back to ea sports the final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three they have dropped the puck here in the third takes the feed Takes the shot. Brilliant save. Run it perfectly. Rush has got it along the wall. Puts it on now. Tremendous save by Huska. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Nizhny Novgorod's got the puck against the boards. Scores! I got two words for you. New game. Yeah, certainly is, James. And who's going to come out on top by the beginning of this face-off? You want to be able to get that puck in the offensive zone and find a way to continue to attack. Well, how many times have we seen this before? Might as well put it on repeat, James. I mean, he is such a distributor of the puck. He finds the open player, but more importantly, the puck is flat, it's crisp, and it's right on the tape. Lots of time left in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Tudors won it. To the most slot. And he wins the post. Russia's been battling this entire game, and it's been back and forth and still tied. They were looking to get the go-ahead goal there with that good look, but it goes off the pipe. Here's a shot, and there's a save. Moves it quickly over to Bracco. Denies him again. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Burden's able to make that save look easy, James. It's because he gets to the top of his crease, he cuts down his angles, and then he can redirect it to safety. save on a point blank shot here James I love the way he's aggressive oh a save on the play wow oh that's grand larceny James I mean he just stole one away from his opponent what a save let's have a look at that last save again it was absolutely incredible you're under pressure you're under attack really under siege and you find a way to get to the puck this is the stuff that champions are made of wicked blast oh and he stops that one Tennessee has got it in the defensive end. Well, there you go. 16 minutes has been played out and still no winner. So we go to sudden death overtime. Lock in, folks, because this should be electric. Stay with us. Overtime. Moments away. It is put up or shut up. The puck is dropped here in overtime. Puck 
Picks up the puck. For the win! And he keeps it alive! What a stop! And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Oh, big time hit along the wall. And this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. Chance to win it! Blocked in traffic. Moves the puck. Taken along the wall by Latuda. And player hauled down the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. Let's get the official decision. I'm a little surprised they made that call in overtime, James, but nonetheless, it was called, so they have to figure out a way to kill it off. Nizhny Novgorod's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power play in overtime. You know the players, the heart rate is elevated. They're on their toes. Coach's responsibility to settle them down, remind them of their systems so they can get it on the ice and execute. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Larionov set the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. They score! They take it in overtime! Man, that was a fun one, and I'll say this, the right team won. Two very different emotions at each end of the ice, but I absolutely love this moment, Cheryl. Yeah, I love the tradition, right? Because you've had a hard-fought battle and there's been a lot of physical engagement on the ice, but you show respect for your opponent in the handshake line. Well, that brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from rinkside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. I gotta get to bed. See ya.